Samsung has just announced its latest advanced smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. We're now going to take a closer look at the phone, exploring some of its cool new features, looking at its advanced hardware, and also taking a sneak peek at the new smartwatch, the Samsung Galaxy Gear, which the Note 3 can be linked up to. So here it is, the new Samsung Galaxy Note 3 smartphone, a follow up to the hugely successful Note 2. And here's that device, the Note 2. So as you can see, both very large smartphones. Uh, the Note 3, though looking very similar, has actually got a slightly larger, higher resolution screen, but is actually thinner and is a little bit lighter. Another difference is on the back, so the Note 2 has the plastic finish, and here we've got a sort of textured leather finish that feels quite nice and gives it sort of that premium feel and finish. Other differences, again on the back, we've got the usual camera, um, the Note 2 is an 8 megapixel version but we're up to 13 megapixels on the Note 3. We've also improved the video camera so now it's an ultra high definition video camera. A couple of other changes worth mentioning. Uh, improved battery on the Note 3. Now the Note 2 had a huge battery so we're expecting great things from the Note 3. And we've got a processor boost so everything should run super smoothly with the new Note 3. Um, We've got the usual memory card slot and the phone comes with 32 or 64 gigs of memory so plenty of space for saving all your apps and photos and videos and those sort of things and the phone runs on the latest version of Android. Now like previous versions of the Samsung Galaxy Note, the Note 3 is controlled with a stylus or S Pen as Samsung term it. Here it is. Now the S Pen isn't just for, for writing notes or using it to control the, uh, the Note 3, it's much more advanced than that and has much more clever features and the key one here, new one for the Note 3 is Air Command, so I'll try and demonstrate it here. So we take the stylus or S Pen, hover it over, press the button and you've quick access to these features. So we've got Action Memo which lets you take notes um, and then take an action, so it might be that you write down a phone number and you want to transfer it straight into your contacts book. And we've also got Scrapbooker, so you can cut out part of the screen you're on and add it to a scrapbook to save those memories. That might be a video, for example. And we've got ScreenWrite. Now, this will take a whole screen grab and lets you write notes or make any annotations on it. S-Finder, this is a, an advanced search tool, really, so um, you can search through things that you've saved on the phone. And finally, we've got Pen Window. Um, now, what this does is you can draw on the, uh, on the screen any size of shape and then fill it with your favourite app. Now one exciting new feature in the Note 3 is its improved multi-screen performance. I'll try to demonstrate that here. Um, so we kind of click on this little arrow and we can select different, uh, different programs to run on the screen at the same time. So we'll have our internet up at the top. Uh, this is just the Witch homepage. So while that's loading, we'll open up an SMS message to run at the bottom. So we're just going to find some text, a bit of advice. Maybe we want to send to a friend. Um, we'll click this blue button in the middle. This lets me select my text, and I just drag it down, pops it straight into the message. Now you can use it for different features, that could be a, an image you want to send to a friend. Um, and it's just a simple matter of copying and dragging it straight down. And interestingly, you can have the same app open in both, both segments. You could have two web pages open at the same time, so you could be browsing one and then copying information, looking at different things. It's really quite neat. Now, as well as the standard home screen view that we've seen before, there's a, a new view in the Note 3 called Magazine View. If I just swipe up from the bottom of the page, I can show you what I mean. So here we go, we've got um, news feeds coming straight into the phone, providing you with information, and you can personalise this. So we just click up here, you can choose the news feeds you want, personal information or social media feeds. Um, and if we just go back, we can still access the phone's uh, key features and functions by just clicking this little arrow up here, so we've got them down the side of the phone. And we can just return to the standard home screen lot. Now if like many of us you're worried about smartphone security, you might be interested to hear about Samsung's new Knox feature. Now the Note 3, like most phones, has got uh, the regular security features so you can set a password for example. But if you want an extra level of encryption, you can go into Knox here. Now normally you'd put in a password but we've already done that. But what this means is these these uh, applications that we've got saved in here, you need to punch in the password to access those. And that's also useful if you want to have your one device and using it for personal use and also work use, because these are, these are completely separate. So if I was to take a load of photos in personal use, you wouldn't see them in Knox View and vice versa. So it's really handy if you've got that one device and you want to keep 
your work and home life separate. Now I should also show you this pretty cool new watch that I'm wearing. Uh, we just go into it here. This is actually a smart watch. It's the Samsung Galaxy Gear. It's launched at the same time as the Note 3 and actually they're companion devices so they work in tandem. So with the watch you can make and receive phone calls, you can get text messages, uh, you can set alarms and it all works via Bluetooth to your uh, Note 3 phone. So actually it'll be the phone that's doing all these things but you can have the phone in your pocket or in your bag and you can just take, take and receive the calls on your on your smartwatch is really pretty clever. If you want to see more information, uh, find out more about the Galaxy Gear smartwatch, watch our video from IFA. So in summary, the new Galaxy Note 3 is a really exciting smartphone with some new cool features, but we shouldn't forget the hardware improvements. That uh, bigger battery and enhanced processor should really help in everyday use. Um, now there's no getting away from the fact it's a large device and it won't suit everyone. Not everyone wants a big phone in their pocket or bag and if you've got small hands you might struggle to grip it. But on the other hand, if you're really into watching the internet on your phone, watching videos, uh, making the most of this really fantastic great screen, it could be a fantastic choice. We'll know more when we get it back from our lab where we're going to do our in-depth testing. Now the phone's going to come out at the end of September. Price and availability information isn't known yet, so check back on the website to get all the latest information. Click on the links below to read the full first look of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 smartphone, to watch our hands-on video of the new Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch, and to watch our video of the new Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 tablet 2014 edition.